I greatly apologize for the delay. I'm trying to get the live feed started. It's giving me issue. So I'm just going to record the, uh, the ceremony and I'll post it in a little bit as soon as we're done. First and foremost, thank you so much for uh, joining us this morning. I want to give a special thank you to our PTO this morning for putting on an amazing breakfast for our grade 8 students. If we could just give them a round of applause. It was uh, really phenomenal, just showing of our school community. Again, restrooms are inside the building. If you just go in here and make a left and a left, there's restrooms right there. We have some water and items here. If you'd like to help yourself, please do. Um, I want to thank our award recipients. You have been through quite the year, um, to say the least. It is, uh, you know, if we could turn back the hands of time, at time and give you a different year, we, we surely would. Um, but this year and the fact that you're sitting here now is just telling of who you are and where you're going to go. Um, your educators selected you because you, you went above and beyond. You set the expectation and you, you set it really high. So we appreciate that and um, we appreciate all the, the frustration you worked through this year. Um, we felt it as well. So thank you for that. I want to... I want to thank our central office leadership, our supportive board of education, our vice principals, our educators, our curriculum coordinators, our custodians, and our building and grounds department for setting everything up and kind of bringing us to this point. But I want to especially thank the mothers, fathers, aunts, uncles, grandparents, cousins, nephews, sisters, brothers out there that are sitting in the audience that gave us these students. They're some of our best, so I want to applaud you. Thank you. Uh, without further ado, uh, I sent out that you should have received a text message on your phone um, that has the entire program. We also have QR codes located in different areas. If you want to hold your phone up to it, it'll show the entire program. But we're going to get started with the CAS Awards, which is the Connecticut Association of School Scholar Leadership Award. It's one of our most prestigious awards, and it goes to uh, students who just display the utmost citizenship and academic performance. And those recipients are Rebecca Bemis and Alicia Lazat. Also have their name placed on this plaque and placed in the school. <laughs> Next up is our citizenship awards, and those are uh, awarded by our educators to the students who dismay, display the utmost citizenship and also just embody all the core values of our mission statement here at John F. Kennedy Middle School. Those students are from the Wallop team, Savannah Riley. From the Skidiko team, Jason Mahone. From the Higgins team, Jackson Alex. And from the Brainer team, Alicia Lazad. set of awards with our Digital Citizenship Award. Um, the educators this year, just uh, tech support that students provided, teaching us about uh, all the systems we're using, and also helping out their peers. So this year's Digital, digital Citizenship Awards go to Kathia Diaz, Angelina Shai, Alexa Babbitt, Gabrielle Chavez, Cole O'Neill, and Christian Mascara.
At this time, I'd like to call up our English language arts curriculum coordinator, Ms. Deborah Gaskell. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. The Grade 8 Ryan Theobald Poetry Award honors Ryan Theobald, a JFK student who, in the fall of 1996, when he was in eighth grade, was involved in an automobile accident that claimed his life. Ryan wrote poems, and to memorialize his life and his talent, his family established this award for JFK's eighth grade students. The recipient is being acknowledged for an ability to create beauty in words by weaving thought and creative language. This year marks the 24th presentation of this poetry award. I call up Mrs. Theobald, Ryan's mom, to say a few words and to announce our winner.
Adrian Snow will now present the Reading Department Awards. Good morning, everyone. I'm here to present the Reading Awards. The students receiving these awards have demonstrated marked improvement in the lifelong skill of reading. They have worked so hard, and the whole reading department is very proud of them. Conlon Shaw. Isaiah Rodriguez. Joshua Corche. Tessa Pippen. Savannah Riley. And Samantha Alfano. And now, Mr. Joel Sine, who will present math, science, and social studies. Thank you. Team. 
are Lindsey Brown and Ryan Soren Anderson. From the Higgins team, Samantha Alfano and Luke Pachalski. From the Skittico team, Emma Boisvier. And from the Wallop team, Madeline Archer and Colin Six. Colin Six. Colin Six. And now the awards for social studies. Social Studies Awards honor historians who have shown leadership and commitment to improving their community and personal academic growth. Each of these students demonstrates a passion for history, determination, and a work ethic that serves as an example to their classmates. From the Brainerd team, Kathia Diaz and Elijah Macholik. From the Higgins team, Jack Harmon and Hannah Bryant. From the Skittico team, Abby Carlo and Caitlin Kame. From the Wallop team, Sophia Carrier and Jack Raymond. It is now my honor to introduce Mr. John Day, who will present the awards for STEAM. The awards for outstanding achievement in STEAM and technology education go to Sophia Carrier, Landon Gabowski, Aiden Tatro, and Nicolina Parolo. Michelle. 
Julian Sabansky. Lillian Sabansky. Thank you. Thank you. Madeline Archer. And Nicholas Manet. Nicholas Manet. I thought you said Monet, and I was like so confused. Manny. Sorry. Yeah. Next awards are from the art department. Uh, these awards are for excellence in the visual arts, and the following students have been recognized for exemplary performance. They consistently demonstrate a high level of creative thinking, innovative problem solving, and personal expression. It's my honor to announce this year's winners. Let's start off with Amida Padilla. <laughs> Elijah Masiolek. Brielle Powers. <laughs> Nicole Cruz Mendoza. We have Lillian Sabansky again. Haley Barrett. Abigail Kirsten. She's inside. I don't think she knew she was getting an award. Okay. Oh, we'll inside. get that to her. Thank you. Okay, so the next awards are for physical education. These award recipients consistently demonstrate an outstanding aptitude for PE and help and help learn standards. Abigail? <laughs> okay, so again, these awards are going to be for PE, and the award recipients consistently demonstrate an outstanding aptitude for PE and health learning standards. They work to their full potential in all units of study and provide support for and success for others. They demonstrate leadership skills and foster the instructional efforts of the class and are positive role models who are prepared for learning, build positive relationships with peers and faculty, and exhibit responsible and respectful behaviors. And the winners are Braden Eckert, Reese Lavoie, Kyle Kame, <laughs> Luca Basile, <laughs> and Katia Diaz. Okay, our next set of awards are for the music department. So the music ensemble awards. Oh. Thank you, Katia. Katia Diaz. So there's kind of three different awards for the music department here. There's the most improved, which is given to the student who has made the most overall improvement in music for their JFK tenure. There's the Director's Award, which is given to a student who's gone above and beyond in their ensemble or, or class for the entire tenure of, at JFK. And there's the General Music Award, which is given to students who contributed the most to class academically and creatively for their eighth grade tenure. We'll start off with orchestra, and those award recipients were chosen by Mr. Winham. We have the most improved player is Emma Boisvier. <laughs> We have the Director's Award, which goes to Kayla Bouchard. The 
most valuable player, Angelina Sheet. Okay, these next ones are for Select Choir, and these recipients were chosen by Miss Jakes. The most improved performer is Aubrey Usher. Director's Award goes to Ashley Foster. And the most valuable player, Caitlin Kamei. Okay, this next group is for band, and they were selected by Mr. John Powers. Most valuable player, Lauren McDonald. Most improved player is Kaylin Ambrosino. Kaylin Ambrosino? I think she's online. The director's award is going to Aiden Tetralt. <laughs> and these next awards are for general music, and they're selected by Mr. Powers and Ms. Jakes. For the fall semester, we have Hannah Ryan. <laughs> and lastly, for music, we have the spring semester, which is Alicia Lizat. David Yakabuchi now. Good morning, everyone. I have the distinct honor of reading about 110 names of students who are receiving the Presidential Physical Fitness Award. These, studen these students have been recognized because they are in much better shape than I am. <laughs> so we'll call your names. Uh, please make room for others uh, to come up to the stage. Our first name, Jalen Alchemy. Jackson Alex. Gennady Al Sharani. Isabella Alvarado. Alexandra Ambrosino. Kaylin Ambrosino. Ryan Soren Anderson. Ryan Brady Anderson. Kayla Archibald. Madeline Archer. Alexa Babbitt. Jacob Barnes. Haley Barrett. Alexandra Barry. Breezy Bielu. <laughs> Jacob Beeler. Sorry. 
Ava Belanger. Rebecca Bemis. Emma Boisvier. Haley Bonney. Kayla Bouchard. Talon Brand. Lindsey Brown. Ryan Buckley. Valentin Bobuck. Orlando Cancel. Kaylee Carballo. Abby Carlo. Sophia Carrier. Aurelis Castillo. Richie Chen. Matea Cosby. Kathea Diaz. Isabella Denault. Natalie Dumas. Braden Eckert. Gabriella Eckert. Braden Enright. Jackie Estrada. Rawan Farah. Samantha Ferrando. Madison Flora. Haley Fontaine. Ashley Foster. Rim for Jock. Selma for Jock. Finley Gannon. Grace Garrow. Madeline Garthway. Joseph Gerard. Abigail Gomez. Samantha Green. Jack Harmon. Madeline Herzig. <laughs> Alyssa Hosig. <laughs> Carol Ann Ingraham. <laughs> Destiny Irving. Cole Isaacson. Caitlin Kamei. Kyle Kamei. Ava 
Aiden Cozera. Joshua LaJoy. Aubrey Lathrop. Reese Lavoy. Dream Lawson. Cadence Linda. Alicia Lazar. Elijah Maciolek. Nicholas Maney. Kiara Maranak. Drew Matthews. Zachary Maynard. Lauren McDonald. Aria McKnight. Rachel McNeil. Nathan Merrill. Colton Messenger. Alyssa Mishad. Evelina Olson. Luke Pachalski. Nicolina Parolo. Ali Paquita. Isla Peterson. Kari Post. Brielle Powers. Ian Ruff. Jack Raymond. Brooke Ryan. Hannah Ryan. Hussein Saleh. Parker Salvis. Katie Samancic. Charlotte Sementilli. Oh, wait, where am I going? Ryan Sen. Yeah. Angelina She. <laughs> Colin Six. <laughs> Jenna Slater. Gage Smith. Lillian Sabansky. Sophia Sawinski. Lillian Spada.
Madeline Stoddard. Aiden Tatro. Brianna Tracy. Aubrey Usher. Cassidy Walner. Peyton Wisner. Sarah Younes. Joshua Young. And last but not least, Kaliana Zog. Congratulations, everyone. At this time, I would like to introduce Ms. Haran, who will be giving out the club slash general awards. Thank you. emotional but academic behavior he really has come a long way and I'm really proud of him so Lane Camp if you could come up for your and now I would like to introduce Miss Serrato Hi everyone, welcome to the awards assembly. This year I'd like to recognize a couple students who have participated in the JFK Middle School Debate Team. The debate team is part of the Connecticut Middle School Debate League and it started about three years ago. I'd like to recognize Kaliana Zog for an outstanding year of debate. of our debate team. Um, she has participated in all three years of debate and we've grown quite a bit to learn all about debate. Congratulations, Sophia Carrier, for being the backbone of our debate team for three years. Mrs. Simeone and Mrs. Santanella will be coming up next for the next award. Yeah. 
I'm pleased to announce Dr. Baylog. Warning. Diversity Club Award goes to those eighth graders who have consistently contributed to our discussions and exhibited passion for the issues that affect our school, community, and society. This year's recipients are Isabella Denault, and Jaycee Estrada. I missed the name, I'm sorry. So can we really give it, give it up for this for this student please? Ishan Patel. President and Dr. Berrios for the closing remarks. Thank you. Again, I apologize for the uh, the live feed having an issue. Um, instead of sacrificing missing the entire thing I ever recorded, and I'll upload it to the YouTube page and reshare re the link so you can share it with um, extended family. Um, I want to give out a couple more awards to some really special individuals who really make the JFK school community just even better than it is. Um, and that's our PTO awards. And um, these. These uh, parents and guardians in our community really, we meet monthly, we talk, we strategize on how to raise funds um, to provide additional materials, field trips, speakers, all the concerts that come in um, to our students. So those uh, awards go to Beth Willette, Amanda Albert, Scott Ryder, and Leslie Lawler. Yes! You're here for you may not be here. They're not coming up, they're protesting. Um, I will uh, give them their awards, but thank you for everything that you do for our students. We really appreciate it, thank you. And last, I want to, again, thank you for coming out. I really appreciate you know, everything that you provided for these students. The values that you've instilled in them is pretty clear. Um, to the eighth graders, Best of luck in your high school years. Um, keep doing what you're doing. If it is telling of what you've done already and, and receiving these awards and the work that you're willing to put out, you will be successful, I promise you that. Keep working hard and best of luck and make good choices as you move forward to the high school. That concludes our ceremony. Thank you so much for coming out today.